statute requires that after 180 days, the details of those settlements would be made public. But the problem is, is that when the request is made, um, the uh, oftentimes they are told that, well, they can't release it. The 180 days is fine, but there's also uh, a clause in there that says that um, in an, an or situation or the expiration of the uh, statute of limitations on the original claim. So what's happening, there are a lot of ways uh, that these departments and the um, uh, agencies are not releasing that information. And then often sign at the times there are non-disclosure agreements signed. And so it just makes it hard. People are a lot smarter than me up here uh, that have told me that they've made efforts to get this information and follow the rules, and just they just get the bums rush, and it's very hard to get it. What this bill would do, it, it would require that that information be released after 180 days and then an additional 30 days to allow the Department of Information Technologies to put it together. So that stays the same, but it would be automatically then uh, posted on the Sunshine Portal. But there's a couple of things that are really important to know about this. Uh, there are some exceptions as to what would be included in there. What would be included would be the nature of the claim, excluding the names or job titles of individuals, claimants, appellants, or respondents. I do not want to do anything with this bill that would prevent a person from filing a claim, whether it be sexual, uh, sex discrimination, harassment, or whatever. So the names would be redacted. The name of the state agency, department, or office against which the claim was made um, would be included. The total amount of the state public money, that's another way of saying taxpayer dollars, paid to settle the claim, including damages and attorney's fees. And the posting shall occur within 30 days of the conclusion of the applicable period as provided in statute, and that would be after 180 days. So what we're doing, Mr. President, this information is eventually made public if somebody's even aware that it exists. All we're doing is requiring that, hey, instead of somebody having to file an IPRA and getting the runaround, we'll just go ahead and put it all in the Sunshine Portal so the public can see what's going on. And I would argue that... Uh, the point is to inform the public of how their money is being spent and to protect against fraud invol involving this claim process. So with that, Ms. President, I will stand for questions.